Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, today we're gonna to be talking about MRF since a lot of us are gonna be doing it this coming Monday. CrossFit affiliates all around the world do it every Memorial Day as a way to honor and respect those that were lost while serving our country. Now, whether or not you're from the United States, wherever you're from, there's probably some sort of military or defense program that goes out and does stuff to make sure that you're safe, help protect your freedoms, um, country-wise as yours as well as individually. So. One thing to consider whenever in CrossFit we do a hero workout is to pay respect to someone, which is a little bit different than a normal workout because a lot of times we come to CrossFit, it's very selfish, it's all about you. When we do hero workouts, it's about honoring and respecting other people. So first thing first, make sure that you show respect during this workout. Now for me personally, when it comes to hero workouts, it's way more of a mental battle than it is a physical battle. Yes, they are physically hard, but it's that mental ability to stay on task and focus on the goal no matter how you feel, no matter how hard it is, how hot, whoever it happens to be, you focus on that task, you achieve the goal, you stay on mission, quote unquote, okay? I know it's a lot different than a military mission, but for us in CrossFit, when we have a hard workout, I'd like people to think about it that way. So we have Murph, it's a one mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, one mile run. Now this is one of Lieutenant Murphy's favorite workouts. He called it body armor because then you wear a vest or body armor during it as well. You are allowed to partition any way you want the pull-ups, push-ups, and squats. We're gonna talk about that. So talking about staying on mission, Lieutenant Murphy, when him and his crew of guys, right, if you ever seen the movie Lone Survivor, it's based on what happened to him. There was four of them, there was between 30 and 40 people attacking. He was willing to step out from a place of protection, get shot at, I believe he got shot in the back at one point while he was actually on the call, and with complete resolve, made a call to make sure that his guys could get rescued. Now the whole mission went crazy, a helicopter got shot down, there's a whole big story about it, there's a documentary, you can check it out. But essentially, this is what he was known for, was this crazy workout, and we wanted to attack it the same way that he attacked life. He's known for sticking up for people who were getting bullied, random people on the street who protect if someone was picking on them. So that's where there's a movie called Murph the Protector. So we wanna make sure that we stay on task, we don't whine or complain during this, okay? Don't whine or complain doing a workout about how hot or how hard it is for someone that died to help protect you. Had that mindset where he was one out there, go out there and protect people, and here you are working out, probably wearing $130 sneakers, maybe you got Lululemons on, and you're pissing and moaning about the heat, right? Keep that in mind, keep it in perspective. So the first mile run, you don't have to go out there and PR your mile, but you also shouldn't be running slow, right? Attack this. Because once we get into those pull-ups, push-ups, and squats, we know we're gonna slow down. It's gonna happen, right? So don't feel like, oh, let me pace this mile a lot so that way I'm good. On the same token, don't feel like you should go out there and, and PR because it's not gonna go well afterwards. Now, there is some talk about, hey, you have to do it straight through to count, but it's always been posted up as you can partition it. So if you're someone where you have solid push-ups, you have a couple choices. You can go 10 rounds of 10 pull-ups. 10 push-ups, 15 squats, 10 push-ups, 15 squats. I personally like this because it breaks up the push-ups a little bit so you can stay unbroken on them for as long as possible. Or you can also go 10, 20, 30. This one's really tough because eventually sets of 20 push-ups, even if you go 10, 10 on it, it starts to take up a lot of time. Whereas on this one, I can do 10 push-ups, pop up, bust out 15 squats fast, get back into those 10 push-ups, bust out 15 squats fast, and I'm back into the pull-ups. Now, if you're someone where those push-ups go away on you, which is a lot of us, we highly recommend going 20 rounds of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 squats, all right? 20 rounds through, make sure you got some way to count it. You can mix and match this any way you want, and then attack that last mile. The first 400 meters are there to kind of loosen up your legs. You're gonna feel a little jelloey, and then get into the zone, stay on task, right? You're about to complete a workout named after someone that sacrificed his life, all right? Think about that. Literally, when you wanna slow down, when you want to complain, when you're making excuses for yourself, remember, you're doing a workout that's named after someone that sacrificed his life in an area of the world that is absolutely crazy, right? There's plenty of documentaries out there. You can check it out. Know the real meaning behind it. It should be borderline emotional, all right? Here at CrossFit Soar, this gym was founded by someone who was in the Ranger Battalion, so we take these days seriously. We want to honor those that do things that most of us are not willing to do, all right? I'd love to hear about what you guys do for Murph. Maybe your gym does something special. Tag us in it. We'll see how it goes.